Good morning, Bulldogs! For our special announcements. Congratulations to Connor Lyons for being selected as this month's Golden Globe Award winner. According to his teacher, Ms. Beckmore, Connor has proven himself to be the perfect recipient of the Golden Globe Award because of his interest in learning, dedication to his studies, and willingness to assist those around him. Congratulations, Connor, and keep up the great work. The boosters are looking for concession volunteers and need your help. Please consider signing up and supporting our Bulldogs competing at home. Attention all seniors. The final opportunity to get your picture taken is Thursday, December 15th. VIP will be in the Senior Cafe during lunch periods and to take your yearbook picture. If you do not get your picture taken on this day, you will not be in this year's issue of The Trumpeter. For clubs and activities. The math team hosted their annual invite over the weekend and finished in fifth place with 405 points overall. Our Algebra 1 team made up of Nicole Sack, Sohan Sony, and Caden Zeller took third place. The pre-calculus team of Jack Polar, Quincy Carlson, Kyra Mikowski, and Emily Deward, and Lucas Hauser took second. And the freshman sophomore eight-person team of Sack, Sony, Zeller, Hunter Seymour, Colin Nordic, and Jaira Lanzar took second place. Check out the team's Twitter page to stay up to date on what they are doing. The speech team competed at the Elk Grove tournament and wowed the judges. Jackie Benefelt took fifth in original comedy and humorous interpretation. Samantha Lopatowski and Stephanie Harrow secured the fourth place finish for a dramatic duet acting. And the duo of Samantha Cruz and Lopatowski finished the tournament in first place for humorous duet acting. Congratulations to all our speech members on a great tournament and good luck to Pal. Yeah in Palatine this weekend. For those who are looking to sing and dance on stage this spring, make sure to attend the upcoming informational meeting. Mr. Austin will be presenting important information on December 16th in the auditorium after school. Auditions will be held the week of January 9th, so make sure you attend this meeting. The Snow Dogs have dropped their latest line of merch. Check the daily announcements and order your swag before the store closes on Sunday. FPLA FDLA is hosting a coffee fundraiser through Papa Nicholas Coffee to help fund events for members, provide competitors with resources and business attire, and help to alleviate the financial pressure going to the national competition. They are already planning their trip to Atlanta, so please take a moment to consider purchasing some coffee, tea, or hot chocolate and support our business bulldogs. The fundraiser will run through December 20th and can be done all online. Check the daily announcements for the store link and for instructions on how to compete your order and donation. Thank you in advance for your support. For athletics. Last week, the boys varsity bowling ball team swept the Rams thanks to the outstanding games from Josh Hawkins, Matt Ayers, Aaron Barnickel, Jake Sierong, and Ian Walker. On the JV level, Eli Foy rolled a 516 series and Lucas Hamilton rolled a 196 in game 30. After their game against Central, the varsity team competed in a highly competitive tournament in Vernon Hills and ended the day in ninth place. Hawkins, Barnacle, and Walker all shot over 1,200. Walker bowled so well that he finished the day with the second highest game of the tournament. As for JV, Devin Kirschbaum had a good day on the lids as he rolled a 195 and 215. This week the team took on McHenry and had great games from Walker, Barnacle, and Hawkins. At the JV level, Hamilton rolled a 202 and Tom Winston scored a 195, but the high games didn't stop there. The program took on Grays Lake North on Tuesday and was on fire. High scores include Foy with a 214, Winston with a 233 and Hobson with a 240. Winston continued to roll big. After striking the first eight frames, he finished game two with a massive 254. The JV team swept the Knights with a big series from Boy, Hobson, Kirchbaum, and Winston. In their first tournament of the season, the JV girls bowling team took second place with a game with a six game total of 3,863 pins. All five bowlers placed the top 27 with three earning medals. Congrats to Alyssa Sian for taking 15th, Riley Blair for taking 13th, and Ella Avalon for securing eighth place. The varsity team rolled a six game series of 5,271 pins to take second at the Palatine Invite. The Dixon sisters, Savannah and Desiree, placed as individuals in 11th and 7th respectively. This week, the team took on Grace Lake Central and took down the Rams at the varsity and JV level. So far, the team is 2-0 in conference and is looking to keep that momentum going into the weekend as they compete in Julia. The freshman boys basketball team is continuing their winning streak. To start the week, they took down McHenry 40-18 and are looking for a repeat against North Chicago this weekend.
Last week, wrestling hosted their first season opener and varsity had their first match when over the 22nd ranked team, Loyola Academy. The Bulldogs won 48-21 and showed a great amount of effort throughout the night. The next day, the team went on to take down Lane Tech 54-21 with big pins from Vinnie Botempa, Brian House, and Cameron Latiborn. The team dropped their second duel to Stevenson but bounced back to take down Barrington 39-34. Big pins include Vince Jasinski, Ethan Tarvin, Potempa, Eric Rodriguez, Jack Leonard, and Lattimore. The girls team competed in the inaugural Waukegan tournament and showed their competitors what box like tough means. Cassidy Grimm finished the day in third place, while Snow Key and Jonah Zimlag took home first place wins. The freshman team continued to improve as they took down Stevenson, Barrington, and Lane Tech, bringing the record up 8-0. To kick off their competition season, the dance team competed at the Lake Zerk Invite and did an outstanding job. The varsity squad brought home first place win and made history as they are the first Grant dance team to take first at the first competition of the season. On top of that, the JV team placed fourth. With so much intensity and focus, there is so much more to come with these dancers. Large and small JV competed at the Jingle Fest and had a blast performing. Large JV took 6th place out of 23 teams with both levels showing a lot of growth. Both JV levels will meet again on December 18th and Varsity is hitting the floor on December 16th. Today's events are all about girls basketball. All levels will be competing against Grays Lake North starting at 5.30pm. Tomorrow the wrestling program is competing at Grays Lake Central and Glenbard North. Boys Bowling is heading to Virgin Lane, and Girls Bowling is taking a trip to Julia. All levels of boys basketball will be competing at home against North Chicago starting at 1.30 p.m. Good luck to all our Bulldogs competing this weekend. The Grant Cheerleading Spirit Wear store has opened, which means it's your turn to cheer on this awesome group of athletes. This store closes on Monday, so be sure to snag your file quickly. For the College and Career Center. The 2023 Lake County Robotics Competition will kick off January 28th. All high school students are eligible to participate. Individuals and teams can sign up online. Check the daily announcements for the link or reach out to Ms. Mazura for more information. Well, that's all from us seven. this week. Have, Have a great, great day. Enjoy your weekend. And remember to keep it red, Bulldogs. <laughs>